Hi, my name is Chef Joe, and I do own the bayou. I was fortunate enough to study under Chef Paul Perdome, and he taught me how to make the seafood gumbo. It's awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. As you know, here at the bayou, we are known for our gumbo. And if you understand anything about the process of making gumbo, there's a couple things that are very important. The first of which is the roux, R-O-U-X. Equal parts of fat and flour. So what you want to do is you want to get your oil hot, and at that point, you're going to slowly whisk. The key to making a great roux is attention. And what you need is about five minutes of time where you can get rid of the dog, your husband, your wife, your kids, anything. But you have to pay attention at this moment because it's going to make or break the success of what you're going to do in the next hour. As it foams up, you're going to smell some of the simple sugars caramelize and become a little richer. It's going to smell like toast. At that point, I would put this pan into an oven for about 350 degrees. I would stir it every 15 to 20 minutes till you get to the point where you end up with this. This roux is what we would call the peanut butter stage. It has a much deeper, richer flavor. This takes about 45 minutes of semi-constant attention. Right now, this blonde roux would be perfect if you were going to make something traditional, say bechamel or velouté. But it just takes a little bit more concentration and love to get to this point. So hang in there, and I'm going to show you what to do with the roux in a little bit. The next most important thing is the quality of ingredients which you're going to use. I only buy the best because, you know what, if I'm serving you, you're worth it. Let me tell you something. This andouille sausage, it's made by my former mentor, Paul Prudhomme. It is not inexpensive. So what you're going to want to do is slowly bring the fat content out so that the fat that comes out from the sausage is going to permeate your other vegetables. And in New Orleans, we call our vegetables Trilogy. The Trilogy consists of not only the Father, the Mother, and the Holy Ghost, but we have onion. We have some beautiful celery, green peppers. We're going to add a little bit more extra virgin olive oil. With the time-lapse photography, we're going to let this come down until it's al dente. Al dente means to the tooth. This absolutely is some beautiful trilogy we have going on here. We're going to take a little bit of our Cajun seasoning, and I'm not too proud to tell you that I, I still buy it from my boss. This is Paul Perdome's Cajun seasoning. You can find it in any store. You buy anything else and you take your chances. I made some fresh shrimp stock. Shrimp stock is just some shrimp shells, a little bit of Chardonnay, whatever vegetables you have lying around, and you're just going to add that to accentuate the fact that you have shrimp and some crawfish and some beautiful flavors going on here. So we're going to bring this up to a boil. Remember we talked about the roux, the golden brown peanut butter flavor? This is exactly where it comes in. Okay, and now the hard part's done. We have a nicely viscous consistency. How about some crawfish? Some sweet crab meat. We're going to add you a little bit of rice. We're going to play restaurant here for one second. Uno, dos, tres. We're going to put this back up here. This is our seafood gumbo. I was fortunate enough to learn this from Chef Paul Perdome. But, you know, after traveling the world and working under a lot of other chefs, we all take on our own twist on things. I'd love to have you come by here at the Bayou and try our seafood gumbo.